four of Pluto's moons, Styx, Nix, Care Bear, Os, and Hydra. Stupid, stupid Hydra. What is this thing? That looks fascinating. How's that not a moon? I guess it's a star, but it's doing crazy stuff. Totally crazy stuff. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News and Professional Science presents Seriously, bro. Papa's got a new bag of tricks. How cool is Pluto? There's one thing that Professional Science and Thor agree on. It's that dang, I want to know more about Pluto. Welcome to the dawn of New Horizon. Pluto is almost completely unknown. It is so far away that even the Hubble Space Telescope strains to see it. The best images so far show little more than Pluto's shape, spherical, and color, reddish. Over the years, changes in those color patterns hint at a dynamic planet where something is happening, but no one knows what. When you stray, neutron stars come out of the rain. When you stray. New Horizons has now seen all five known moons of Pluto, written by Phil Plate, the bad astronomer, over at the Slate. Talk about timing. No, I won't. You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. There could be all kinds of surprises. It's a first exploration of a new kind of planet. New Horizons is scheduled to reach Pluto in 2015. Just Monday, I posted about New Horizons possibly seeing new moons of Pluto when it zips past the tiny world in July. And now, a new picture has been released from the space probe showing the four smaller known moons. Wait, so tell me again why you guys are allergic to taking color photographs? Somebody explains that to me. Check this out. Straight line, straight line. You see that? It's all right there. I wonder what causes that. Boom, boom, crazy. Maybe it's got another moon behind it in a different orbit, an elliptical? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, though. You're being real patient with me. Shut up before I punch you in the coconut. In this animation, the moons are color-coded. The orbit of Styx is green. Nyx is yellow. Care Bear Os is orange. Hydra is red. Nyx and Hydra were discovered in Hubble images in 2005. Care Bear Os in 2011. Sticks in 2012. Now, why did we name them all after bad guys? Well, because we went with the Pluto theme and we love bad guys, said the Hail Hydra crew at NASA. Oh, I'm just kidding you, Blue Beetle. Don't get your unisex underwear in a wad. Nix and Hydra were discovered in Hubble images in 2005. Oh, yeah, I read that already. Maybe I did it twice to reinforce my point. Just like Phil bolds his crap. Were spotted. In the animation, Pluto and Sharon are in the center, but are so bright. Oh, that's what Sharon is. My, 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 hey, my Sharona, woo! In the animation, Pluto and my Sharona are in the center, but are so bright their light was subtracted of the images to reduce their glare. Bunny from Earth, Pluto is so faint that you need a decent telescope to see it at all. And my Sharon, so close to it, and faint, it was only first seen in 1978. But now, New Horizons is able to see them so well, their brightness needs to be reduced to see fainter objects. What the crap shit, Chisel? Here's the original animation, showing the original images, then with Pluto and Sharon subtracted, then with the orbits annotated. Four, four photographs, that's all we get? You guys are so chintzy. You know? Four photographs, really? That's a mild disgrace. Why don't you guys take the chains off of Alex Parker? Let him do his super science, man. Freak boneheads. These images were taken between April 25th and May 1st, when New Horizons was still roughly 100 million kilometers from Pluto. The moons are too small to be resolved just yet. They're just dots in the images. For a sense of scale, Nix orbits Pluto about 65,000 kilometers out. Hydra, about 50,000 on July 14th. New Horizons will pass a mere 12,000 kilometers from Pluto. Right through the bullseye of the moon's orbits. What will it see? More moons? An atmosphere around Pluto, possibly fed by the plumes of outgassing material? Things we haven't even guessed. Things we haven't even guessed. 
Possibly for the first two. Definitely for the latter. New Horizons is now on the frontier of what's known about the Pluto system. New Horizons is now on the frontier of what's known about the Pluto system. Things will only get cooler from here. And I agree. Because no matter what with Pluto, they're not going to be able to hand us the Fifty Shades of Grey moon boring series, boring moon, boring Mars, boring, boring, boring stuff we usually get. You know, like the Filet Comet, Cherry Pachinsko. It's always gray, dull, boring. Even if all the data they give us is fake, they're going to at least have to create something a little cooler this time, you know what I'm saying? And that has me very excited. God bless everybody. It's been another fantastic Blue Beetle Booster Gold. And here we go. And we're teaching your brain stuff. Does it hurt? Okay. Four of Pluto's moons. Styx, Nix, Care Bear, OS, Care Bear, Os, Care Bear, Os, and Hydra. Stupid, stupid Hydra. What is this thing? That looks fascinating. How's that not a moon? I guess it's a star, but it's doing crazy stuff. Totally crazy stuff. Okay, so that's Pluto. The planet, comet, dwarf, planet, planetoid. And these are its four moons. Stikes. Nikes. Care Bear Os. And Hydra. We're looking at New Horizons first photographs. Booster Gold and Blue Beetle are back at it again. Teamed up for some highfalutin science and astronomy. Plus, it's a weekend. The mass of Pluto is important because if it is as small as calculated, something else must affect the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. One theory is that a tenth planet exists somewhere beyond Pluto's orbit. Some astronomers speculate a dark star as many as 50 billion miles from Pluto could affect the outer planet orbits. Another possibility is that a black hole could be 100 billion miles past Neptune's orbit, and the black hole could affect the orbits of the outer planets.